Hey guys, in this SpaGR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can add a GIF animation like this here to your Instagram filters. I will show you how to import the GIFs in the right way so they have the best and yeah, quality possible. And I will also show you how to scale them um, yeah, correctly. So let's go. Hey again, so let's use a GIF file here in the Spark AR Studio. This is pretty simple and I'll also show you how you can scale the GIF after you have imported it in the right way. So let's go. So at first we go to our assets panel and click on the plus. Here we go to add assets and here we select texture animation. Then this window pops up and here we can um, click on choose files. Then just search for your GIF you want to import, click on it and then click on open. After you have clicked on open, you will see this import texture animation window. And here you can do some adjustments to your GIF files because maybe it is too big because we have a file size limit of four megabytes here in the Spaggy R Studio. So you can reduce the texture if you want by checking this box and then you can set the maximum size and also the quality of the um, yeah, PNG. My PNG is fine. It has an original size of 594 uh, kilobytes, so it will fit. Um, so I will yeah set it to 512, and then it is also a little bit smaller in file size, and I can also adjust the quality here. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, I will go with 50%. And when it has too much frames, we can also reduce the frame rate. So we can also hit here on this box and here we can um, choose the quantity of the frames. The original file has 100 frames and when I set it, the quantity of the frames to medium, it has 67 frames. So yeah, I will set it to yeah low, but I don't need this, so I will yeah, disable the frame reduction. Then we have uh, one important um, setting left, the imp um, add to plane option. When we check this checkbox, the GIF will automatically be in the scene here and yeah, on a plane with the right aspect ratio. And this is really important because as we can see here, this GIF has a um, yeah, aspect ratio from of 311 times 480 pixels. So. After we hit import, the GIF gets imported to our Spaggy R. And because we have set to um, the add plane setting, it is already here in our viewport. And yeah, we can see on the left upper side in our scene panel that it is yeah, um, imported. But now when we take a look at the scale, it has a really weird scale here and it is really hard when we want to scale it now in yeah, a fixed scale and here I will show you a trick that makes it very easy to scale um, objects that are not in a squared format. So for this we go to our scene then click on the plus and search for a null object. Then we import this null object and then we drag and drop the smoke plane or any other plane you have created where the GIF is on into our null object um, in the scene. So then it is nested inside of the null object and now we can just um, adjust the scale of the null object. So this has a scale of 1, 1, 1 and then we can just say here it should have x2 and 2 at the y um, axis. So now it is scaled in yeah, the right aspect ratio. So I would recommend you that you nest your plane into a null object. Then we go down to our assets panel and here make sure that you um, yeah, set the compression of the animation of the texture sequence to none to have the best possible outcome um, of the of the animation. So yeah. Also the animation sequence was automatically created by Spark AR and also the material. So now, as you can see, my GIF has a black background. I want to have this black background um, yeah, transparent. So we can do this um, when we select our 
material when we go to the right hand side and here to render options and here when we set the blend mode to add yeah the black background is gone also when we set it to screen so yeah just play around until you have your perfect setting but now it is a little bit yeah transparent so i recommend you that you just um, import a GIF file which has already a uh, yeah, transparent background. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!